is our scheme built above the car park in St George's Park. Uh, it's maintained all the car parking bays. It generates more energy than what it consumes over the course of the year. So it's actually a net zero carbon development. There's nothing nasty in any of these buildings. It's all super insulated, A-rated for fire. Uh, there's no um, chemical foams in there as well. And we've really minimised building plastics as well to, to create a really healthy internal environment. Since we've done Hope's Rise uh, at St George's, we've found that we've grown the business, we're working with more local councils, we're helping develop more social housing and more affordable housing that's also net zero carbon. And by doing that, we're really helping drive the carbon agenda and showing that we can do it in the social housing sector and helping push that forward into the private sector as well. Hello, my name's Sam and I'm a community builder here at Hope Rise which is um, the Z-Pod complex in Bristol, St George's Park. It's a beautiful, spacious, um, peaceful place to live. And everybody that walks past is amazed and inspired about what can be done over a car park. <laughs>We've done, we've developed a zero carbon housing model that creates more energy than what it consumes over the course of the year. By using the dry building system, it enables us to do around about 90 to 95 percent of the work in the factory. Then we bring the units complete to site. When they arrive, the crane put the base units in place and then put the top units on top of those. Once they were all in place, it was done by the Sunday the next day. That way, everything could move to internal finishing and making sure that the internal design standards were up to standard. So we've exceeded all the nationally described space standards to make sure that they have a high quality living space inside. And we make sure that we have a high quality internal environment by having a breathable wall system using intelligent building membranes. So not only are they low carbon, low energy, they also offer a very healthy and promote a healthy lifestyle inside. So we decided that we wanted to give a nice high spec finish that was also durable. This is a permanent building, a permanent dwelling, it has a 60 year design life warranty and is designed to last 100 years plus. So we design our buildings of a grid based system which means we can do one, two, three, four bed apartments and we can also do houses as well. So we cater for the entire market, both on public sector estates and also on privately owned land and also council owned land. So by being quick to build, we believe that modular building is the future and the way forward to help address the 300,000 homes that we need to meet the current shortfall in housing demand. The UK is in the middle of a housing crisis. There's a shortage of properties, and those available are unaffordable for many. Thousands of families are struggling to pay their rent, and according to a new report, homelessness is rising. Bristol has experienced some of the biggest price rises in housing, and that's put them at the very forefront of coming up with alternative solutions to the housing crisis. Hope Rise is a pilot modular housing scheme for young adults at risk of homelessness. Jez Sweetland is the project director. We're looking at a scheme of 11 homes sitting above an existing car park. What are you trying to achieve for the people who will move into these homes? The people that we're targeting here are those people principally that are on Bristol City Council's housing waiting list. We're saying, look, you've got a secure home. You can be assured now you're going to have a roof over your heads. As these homes are owned by the council, the rent is significantly cheaper than many privately owned properties. And this project doesn't just make finding a home achievable. It was also built in an unusual way. This housing is built off site and then off the back of the lorry comes one of these homes. We can be in and out much faster. So the disruption in terms of the amount of cranes, the amount of lorries coming to site, it will be a much quicker process.
One of the residents is singer Sam Jones. She lives here with her partner and has a baby on the way. Sam was given a place here so she could help build relationships between the often vulnerable residents. We had to qualify for social housing to be invited into the project, but in reality, we would have absolutely never have got social housing unless we were volunteering our time to encourage a sense of belonging and community. Who qualifies to live in a building like this? People that have faced housing crisis in some way, whether that's um, having been in care, their home situation's not being suitable, or they've sought asylum. Each property is powered by renewable energy, keeping bills down. And unlike traditional rented accommodation, Tenants here choose when they want to move on. There's lots of people that feel completely beholden to the kind of whims of their landlord. And I think being able to choose when you leave and to know that the rent won't just be hiked up, there's a level of stability in that. And it's totally home. The success of this scheme has inspired similar projects across the UK. At any one time last year, Newport in Gwent had up to 400 people living in temporary accommodation. But a new project has been built, not dissimilar to Hope Rise, which is here to help. The Hill Street project is also built on the site of an old car park. It's home to 12 residents living in more affordable, energy-efficient properties. Sam Lewis was living in temporary accommodation for six months before moving in. I got into temporary accommodation through a breakdown of a relationship. Private renting wasn't an opportunity because the pricing is so high, I had nowhere to go. Can you describe to me the feeling you had when you got handed the keys for this place? I cried. I didn't believe it was mine until I signed the papers and the keys were handed to me in my hand. That was the realisation that I have a permanent home. I have somewhere I can feel safe. The crisis isn't going away anytime soon. But maybe homes don't have to look the way that we're used to them looking. They can be these modular homes providing safe, warm, economical spaces for people to live in.